Oh my fucking god, YouTube. I don't know what what you're even doing, but quit the fuck out of it right now. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Dollar Star PewDiePie here. Welcome back right here in this video. Let's jump right into it. YouTube deleted the Coco Melon diss track. I know, I hear you all screaming in, in pain and agony right now. But just hold on a second, they just didn't remove it like a misclick or anything. Like, oops, oh shit, well, the most famous content creator on our website, we deleted his, his like, pride and joy in, in this year. No, it was a targeted attack on the video specifically. Because the Coco Melon diss track violated the terms of service. Stop! You know, the holy fucking bible that YouTube, like, keeps at it and, and smacks content creators in the face with it because it, that's that's basically how they rule their fucking platform with an iron fist. And because of that, they can basically remove any video they deem necessary to be removed. And let me just tell you, it all happened last night, basically, overnight, in a split second, YouTube made the decision to remove the video entirely. <laughs> Because you know why? Let me tell you why. Because it was deemed one, not for children, and two, targeted harassment. Well done, YouTube. Well done. You saved us from from the evil PewDiePie district music video. Because, oh, if, if only my child could be not on YouTube and watch that and think, No, I don't want to watch Coco Melon anymore. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? First of all, made to look like a children video targeted towards children. Okay, first of all, YouTube. Hey, hello. If you're watching this video, have you ever heard of this app? YouTube Kids. You know, the app that you made where content for children can be uploaded and watched so that kids don't go onto regular YouTube. Okay, nice. Now that we're on one page, let me ask you one thing. Why do we need to create content here aimed towards kids? It's stupid. You are stupid. Don't do this. You made a system yourself. Videos for kids? Videos not for kids. And even after that, you made a big Fucking new box because of the whole COPPA situation where you got fucked in the ass by. Where, hey, we have to look at, is this video made for kids? Yes? No. That video of the PewDiePie district was not aimed at children. I know it used, it may seem like it, that, that there were children in the video and that, and that it was a whole nursery rhyme thing. But hey, YouTube ever heard of aesthetics themes context no of course you never heard of that you just see hey looks like kids video hey has the word fuck <laughs> that's not how this works youtube no don't do even the thumbnail doesn't even look anything remotely related to kids it's stupid second of all targeted harassment and bullying you said it crossed a line uh, it, on your Twitter post. Okay, YouTube. First of all, let's let's state who this is targeted harassment to. Is it one, a company that makes nursery rhyme videos towards kids? Is it two, a rainbow looking ass motherfucker that's in prison? Or three, the audience of Coco Melon? Like, I have no clue who the, the, the fucking target is in this, in this context. Like, absolutely no. Is, is the company crying? Oh, PewDiePie made this track on us. We're all gonna die now. Is, is, is 6 9 crying in prison that PewDiePie made a diss track on him? <laughs> like, I have no idea towards whom this is targeted to. That's, that's, okay. And second of all. If it's harassment, bullying, and inciting violence, like you've stated as well. First of all, all the kids and the violence in the video is fake. Cardboard weapons, all the, the, the profanity that is said in the video was censored on set in the kids version. 
nothing bad, no, no bad words have been said in front of children like Frick and, and, and Ship and oh, oh my god, am I gonna get banned as well now? Oh shit! YouTube, you have a literal issue of people uploading prawn and animal abuse towards the site, towards your own site, but instead of of going after those channels, fighting towards a better platform, you go after the easy target to get like validation points from the advertisers that have been like, oh no, PewDiePie said frick, I can't even put ads on this site anymore. What am I to do? I'm gonna die. Instead of that, fight the animal abusers. Fight the people that upload prawn and stuff like that. But no, I know it, you're lazy, you don't want to do that, because that's that's a whole different kind of section that you have to fight. Because there are many channels that upload that content, and they're all over the place, ranging from 100,000 to 1 subscribers that upload that type of content. I know, 100 hours of video get uploaded every single fucking minute almost to YouTube. So it's impossible to like and to to manually scan all those videos. I get that. But you don't even try to fight those things. You just accept them. Just be like, "Yeah, I, what are we going to do about it?" Yeah, it's, it's it's no problem. No, no, I I can see it. I can see those videos. Oh, <gasps> PewDiePie uploaded this track to watch Melon die. Why? You're fucking and then second of all, the whole diss track section, YouTube, you have literal celebrities uploading diss tracks, and those are fine, because you know why? Those get the big bucks, those get the big money, those are famous celebrities, artists, I don't know why YouTubers get different treatments than, than celebrities, because you know, hey, th those are more like advertisable or something, I don't know, literal... WAP is like this huge thing, or it has been, I don't know, I haven't watched it, I don't wanna watch it, <laughs> but that gets like top front page promotion with lyrics talking literally about nudity and sexual content, but person that makes video that looks like it was made for children gets death penalty. Let me just get this metaphor out there. YouTube is basically this one kid in high school with anxiety that made like a, a, a good product. They, they had like something cool about them. So not everyone comes to them. But they got very, very cocky on their power. And now everyone that used to be friends with like the less popular version of that, they all get backstabbed oh! and... and, and decapitated and fucking burned alive oh, because YouTube can now be friends with like the big people and the big big popular guys at school he can finally sit at the table and suck their fucking c that's basically what YouTube is doing right now they don't care about anything anyone that used to be before like 2016 they don't care YouTube you've changed and for the worse really for the worse and this is coming from someone that has been on this platform for almost 10 years uploading videos and i know i haven't been the biggest in any of my days but still it's very very concerning seeing a platform i used to love enjoy daily grow into this absolute piece of dying roadkill it's insufferable so youtube this video is targeted harassments towards you as a company come fight me take me down i don't fucking care fight me bitch <laughs> so that's basically it youtube took down the video pewdiepie is probably like not gonna do much about it he basically accepted his faith susan wojcicki is probably burning in hell hopefully and I'm still here. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. If you like this, be sure to smack like. Subscribe to become a dollar store PewDiePie fan today. And bye bye.